Hello and welcome to another edition of Bomb Chew News. My name is Chris, I'm joined by Andron, and today we'll be covering the news that we found interesting. The indie stealth game Origami is getting an Ultimate Edition ahead of its upcoming expansion. Origami, which was developed by Lensworks and released on October 4th, 2016, put players in the role of a master ninja who wielded the powers of shadow freely. The game set itself apart from other stealth titles out at the time by providing interesting boss fights and level designs similar to Tenshu on PS1, as well as a stronger focus on mysticism. Since its launch two years ago, Lensworks has begun work on a brand new expansion Nightfall. In addition to Nightfall, Origami Shadow Edition will be launching which will include the original game, Nightfall, all other DLC, and also cross-platform co-op which for those who have never had the chance to check it out is a great deal. What's more, the Shadow Edition will be available for just $5 more than what the original game goes for currently. Both Origami Shadow Edition and the new Nightfall expansion are expected out sometime this month for PS4 and PC. Swery's next game, The Good Life, has successfully been funded on Kickstarter. Swery, who previously made Deadly Premonition and D4, had tried to crowdfund his next game once before, but vowed he would return strong. Things weren't looking great for this run at Kickstarter, with funding being just past the halfway point last month. But thanks to word of mouth and YouTubers like Super Best Friends putting out videos on the game, The Good Life was able to reach its funding goal. The goal of $600,000 seemed impossible just a short time ago, but I'm so glad this game was able to get funded. Swery has such a unique style to his games, and I'm always looking forward to what he's working on next. Now that The Good Life has officially been funded, I've got another wacky sweary game to look forward to. It seems the patent trolls are out in full force as Game Vice is suing Nintendo over the Nintendo Switch. Game Vice, the company behind the Wikipad, is alleging that the Nintendo Switch violates its patents on attachable handheld gamepads and their related accessories. They are citing the Terror Fact of 1930 and requesting that all imports for the Nintendo Switch be halted in the US. A little about this Terror Fact before I continue. This act, also known as the smoot Holly Terror Fact, was brought into play in the 1930s and is often used to quote, regulate commerce with foreign countries and encourage industries of the United States while protecting American labor, end quote. It is also often cited as one of the reasons that the Great Depression was as horrible as it was. Although there is no direct mention of copyright law in the parts of the act that are perused, Gamevice has claimed that Nintendo was in violation of this act and should be held accountable. It seems this course of action isn't nearly as silly as it appears, as the US International Trade Commission is investigating Nintendo in this regard to see if Gamevice's claim holds up. Last year, Gamevice made a similar suit and dropped it in October, however there is no sign of them stopping this time around after getting a US committee involved. Until the committee has made a ruling, from what I've read, Nintendo can continue business as usual, but if for some reason Nintendo ends up on the losing end of the suit, we may see Game Vice walking away with a major settlement of which I don't believe they deserve in any way. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is preparing to launch its next big update. PUBG will be going offline tonight for around 4 hours while Update 12 is launched. Update 12 brings a lot of changes to the game, with assault rifles doing less and SMGs doing more overall. The update also brings a new marksman rifle, new scopes, new grip attachments, and a new car as well. Update 12 also adds the ability to select which maps you want to play, a change which will probably see the desert map being abandoned by the majority of the player base. Make sure you check out the full patch notes, as there are a lot of little changes you'll want to go over before going after that elusive chicken dinner. Well, that's all the news that we found interesting today. Let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.